Good soup. Oh my god, that is so good. Bon appetit. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for tuning in. Today I've got quite an exciting video, well in my opinion anyway, um, quite an exciting video because I am going to be trying finally the soup maker that I received for Christmas. Now, in case you're wondering, this is it. My little soup maker. Um, it does have a wire with it. I don't actually have the box with it um, anymore because I did get rid of it, but oh. So this is the Morphe Richards Smart Ideas for Your Home Soup Maker. That's what the instructions look like. Um, I'm basically going to be giving it a little, a little bit of a review, seeing what it's like, seeing how easy it is, or difficult, I don't know yet, um, to make soups with it. And I thought, what better way to test that out than to batch cook? <laughs> um, it's something that I need to do anyway because I've got three soups that I'm going to make. So I'm going to make a pain ham soup, a tomato soup, um, which is a brilliant tube of the Heinz tomato soup, by the way, um, and also a chicken and mushroom soup. Now, the chicken and mushroom soup is actually one that features in the book itself. So it does come with the instruction book, and it's got, I think, 10 recipes at the back. Basic vegetable soup, roast tomato and basil soup, butternut squash, chili and coconut soup, real quick and easy pea ham and mint soup. That's not the same one as I'm making. Mine better. Um, a French-style pistou. Pistou? Pistou? I don't know. Um, Chinese style chicken and sweet corn soup. Chicken and mushroom soup, which is the one that we're making. Uh, winter lamb and lentil broth. And then, oh, they've got three smoothies in the back because apparently this makes smoothies as well, which is interesting. Um, and they've got a raspberry smoothie, strawberry and pineapple, and a chocolate banana smoothie, which sounds delicious, but maybe I'll try them another day. So I got this um, for Christmas, which if you have seen my, um, what I got for Christmas video that I posted a couple of weeks ago, um, you will have seen that. I was very excited for this. I did actually ask for this from Santa on my Christmas list, and he was very kind and got me it. So... So, of course, I will leave a link in the description for where you can go and get one of these from. Um, this is the 1.6 litre one. Um, it comes in at £66.46, which, you know, is a little bit on the pricey side. However, we're going to test and see whether it is worth the price. Um, which, personally, after the amount of reviews that I've read saying how amazing it is, I think it's probably going to be worth it. But we'll test that out for ourselves. Um, they do also do a one litre one, which I think comes a little bit cheaper at about £40. Um, but for the extra £20, you get the extra 600 mils, of course. Um, and I think the juice function as well comes with that. But yes, yeah, so without further ado, I'm just going to crack on to the first recipe and we're going to test this baby out. Of course, if you do enjoy this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Go hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to be notified for when I do upload, then hit the bell as well. So... Let's start with, actually I'm going to start the one out the book, so so I'm actually going to start with the one out the book, so I'm going to do the chicken and mushroom one, um, like I said, so this is what it comes with, um, your ingredients list and a method. Okay, so this one is a little bit um, different, I kind of thought that the soup maker was just going to kind of, you just put everything in and then it like just does everything for you but for this recipe it seems that you um have to put things in a frying pan first which i wasn't expecting i am missing one ingredient off this however i did go and get the ingredients but it says that you need 100 mils of whipping cream um which i'm just not gonna add because i didn't really want a creamy soup um and i quite like chicken and mushroom soup without the cream so that is how i'm gonna make it so it says in a large frying pan add the olive oil and fry the onion until soft but not browned then you add our garlic and mushrooms and cook them and then you put in everything else into the soup maker after that so we'll start with that oh this does mean actually if you, if you saw my um what i got for christmas video i'm fi Oops. i'm finally going to be using my chopper because i got this from santa as well and it's basically like a a chopper so you put put your food in there and then shoop, chopped apparently I haven't used that yet either so we'll see see how well that works let's give it a go Stop, 
Okay, so while that's quickly cooking in the background, I'm just going to go over the um, settings on it. So by the looks of it, it looks pretty easy. You literally just turn it on and then select which mode you want. So it's got smooth, um, chunky, juice or blend. I'm guessing the blend one is if you want it like completely blitzed, but um, yeah, we'll see, see how it goes. Um, of this one, I think we're choosing the smooth option. Okay, so the um, mushrooms and onions are now done. I'm going to be popping everything into here. Well, it does come with, by the looks of it, a big old, it looks like a power drill. Yeah, so you basically put everything in here. So I'm going to pop this in first. I've also just diced up some potato. It says that you put that in raw, which I found bizarre um because i would have thought that would have been the most difficult thing to to blend um i wonder if you were to just put the mushrooms and onion in raw whether that would make a difference but hey we'll do it as the instruction says and then i'm gonna add some cooked chicken now i think you're supposed to like cook an actual chicken and shred it but it doesn't say that specifically on the menu, so I'm going to make this as easy as possible and just use ready cooked. Um, and it says that it should be shredded, so let's just shred it. Shred it in. It does say, because I've got to add some chicken stock next, which I've made, um, you've got to put a liter in. It does say that you should, like for a better flavor, you can make like fresh chicken stock, but which I guess if you're roasting a chicken, then that would be fine if you wanted to it says it intensifies the flavor so if you want to do so if you want to do fresh chicken stock then um go ahead but i am just going to be using a stock cube i've got 500 mils here but i'm going to add another 500 mils so that we've got a liter there we go add the potatoes in as well and then i think we're just literally ready to go um We'll just plonk that on there. I need to get the lead and plug it in. Ow, okay, it gets quite hot. Right, on. Oh, it helps if I turn it on like a plug. So we are on, are we on? Mode. We want smooth, yeah. So there's 21 minutes. And it's going. I can kind of hear it boiling. So yeah. I think overall, in general, that process that I've just done was quite easy. Um, I thought when it said to start with a pan and things, that would be like more than what it was, but actually it wasn't. Um, so I will come back in 21 minutes and show you what it's like. Okay, so it is now later. Um, it's beeped. It beeped to let me know that it was done. And I'm guessing you just... Oh, okay. So you do, you do get a bit of water fall off. So just watch out for that. But... It looks okay. Let's pop this over by the sink. <laughs> Let's have a look at the soup. Okay, I'm gonna um, pour it out into a Tupperware. Um, I've got three here, one for each soup. Okay, so there's still there's a lot of there's a lot of soup here. Um, so I'm gonna let that cool down a little bit and do a taste test, and then I'm just gonna wash out the pot and um, and then we'll start on the next soup. Okay, so now that is on for about half an hour, I thought we could do a little live taste test of the uh, chicken and mushroom one. Uh, I'm just gonna grab a spoon, because it's cooled down a little bit. It came out like red hot, so yeah. Let's have a little go. Oh, that is nice. That is good. That is very, very good, I must say. I think I might actually have this one for my lunch. Nice and smooth. Uh, yeah, I've just kind of realised as I'm making this one that I don't actually have that much room in my freezer. So I'm going to have to find room or something, I don't know. But I just kind of find that um, soups, soups are probably one of the easiest and cheapest things to batch cook. Because you can literally make loads of it for a really min like minimal cost. And they're great for like pack lunches or like you can freeze it and take it with you, reheat it. It's just like, it's just one of them things that like... I feel like the more of it you have in the freezer, 
the longer that you'd survive in like a zombie apocalypse. Say like we had like a zombie apocalypse. If you've got loads of soups in the freezer and things, you can just eat them. You'll be fine. You'll be literally fine. So yeah, stocking up on soups just in case of the apocalypse. That one serves for the pain ham one serves four, and then the tomato one that I'm about to make after this one serves six. Yeah, we're gonna be good for a while. Just been beeping, tell me that this is done now. I don't think there's actually been any blending, which does worry me a little bit. Um, but we'll have a look, see what has happened. Okay. Not what I thought. It hasn't, it just hasn't blended it essentially. I think it, I think what it's done is made a broth. It is basically just all the ingredients heated up. So I think um, there is a blend function. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to pop it on a quick blend. Oh. Oh, you have to hold it down to do it. Okay. You can select your mode with this one, put it on blend and then you hold down the on off button. For it to blend. Oh, it's looking okay. That's looking a bit better. We're gonna pour this out into some boxes and see how it's turned out. Okay, so we're now done with our chicken and mushroom and our pin ham soup. Not gonna lie, I kind of thought that I'm I don't really know what I was expecting with the chunky setting. I think I kind of thought that it would. Maybe blend it a little bit, but keep some chunks in, but it just didn't blend it, um, which I guess is just a learning curve. Um, however, using the blend fu function on it has meant that I can blend it kind of so that it's not completely smooth, but I can just kind of pulse it to have it as chunky or as smooth as I want. So I guess, yeah, I guess that's a good thing. Um, I'm going to move on to the tomato soup now. This is the one I'm excited for because it tastes like Heinz. Like, I'm not joking, I'm not joking. There's some questionable ingredients that go in, but it does, I swear to God, it tastes like Heinz tomato soup. Um, so if you wanna learn how to make that, then just keep watching. Okay, so I have slightly um, messed up on this because I'm supposed to have two tins of, chung of chopped tomatoes, but unbeknown to myself, I don't know why I only bought one, but I only do have one. So I'm, so I'm actually gonna try and compensate that with some tomato puree. I'm not sure if that'll work, but we can only try. A tin of baked beans, a tin of sliced carrots, trust the process, trust the process. I'm going to use three of these pickled onions and then 500 mils of vegetable stock. Just trust me, this is like the recipe of recipes. You literally bung it all in, boil it and blend it. I am going to have to compensate for the second tin of chopped tomatoes with i think some tomato puree i'm gonna stick a tablespoon in um just got that tomato flavor it might ruin it i'm not sure but i mean we can only try can't we i'll let you know <laughs> going now um it'll be done in 21 minutes so I, I can't say enough trust the process with the ingredients going in this one because it's a good one it is honestly a good one and if you hate the thought of pickled onions you can't even taste them i don't like pickled onions either but i like this soup so so while we are waiting for the tomato soup to cook let's try oh that's really hot Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna try the the pea and ham soup. Obviously, I know what it tastes like when I usually make it. I'm just gonna basically see whether it tastes any different whatsoever when it's been made in the soup maker. Bon appetit. Good soup. It tastes like the normal pea and ham soup that I make. Um, obviously, I've left some of it chunky. I think the only other thing that I would usually do is I would like blend the ham, obviously I did blend it slightly, but I would blend more of the ham in and then add some more chunks of the ham in at the end. Um, but yeah, I like it, it's nice. Um, I can't complain. Yeah, I've got another four portions there. But yeah, I, ca I can't complain, I think it's nice. Um, doesn't taste that much different other than the fact that I haven't blended the, the ham in as I usually would, but like I say, it's all a learning curve. We can maybe do it a little bit better next time. Okay, so it's done now. I am very excited. I must say, this out of all three of them, like, I could smell before it was done. It is so, 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 let me get it sorted. 
so we've got it looking there looks good so this one because it doesn't have any like potato or anything in it it is a slight slightly like thinner and runnier soup but it's just it is really good it's really good i can't stress it enough so let's get it in a pot and taste test i feel like there's gonna be far too much here for this but never mind Ooh, looking good looking good i'm gonna need another another box hang on there we go boy oh boy one thing that i have noticed and i don't know whether it's because i've used it like a lot in a short space of time however the bottom of this has burnt now um it is just some of the ingredients i think that is potentially the baked beans on the bottom but we're gonna give it a scrub i think it'll be fine um but in general i mean tomato soup looks amazing as usual chicken and mushrooms really nice and the pain ham soup was good as well I, do you know what it is right four eight twelve We've made 14 portions of soup in just under two two hours. We've made 14 portions of soup. I don't think that's too bad going at all. And you literally, it's not like you need to keep an eye on it either. You literally just like set it away and then you can go and do whatever you need to do for like 20 minutes at a time. So I would say this is this is good. I do like it. I'm going to give it a quick, quick clean um, and just make sure that the burnt stuff on the bottom is um, easy to get up. I'm going to give the tomato soup a quick test. It, do you know what it is? It actually looks smoother than usual like it's usually pretty smooth when i blend it but i just blend it in like a ninja oh my god that is so good it is so good oh my goodness that is like better than normal i am well impressed wow okay i can't even get over it it's so good i would say in general so i've just got the um soup maker just with some fairy liquid in washing um, and trying to get the thing off the bottom. I would say, I think in regards to batch cooking, I mean, I did, I did put proper to the test. Like I say, I made 14 portions of soup in the space of like under two hours. So I guess maybe if you're gonna make, if you're gonna do this yourself, then then maybe just give it a little bit of a break before doing so much. So, but otherwise it makes really, really good soup, like chef's kiss. I think overall I would rate it a solid like 9 out of 10. I would definitely, I'll definitely be using this over pan cooking and blending um, in the future. I would, and I would 100% recommend it. As I said before, um, the link for it will be in the description. I'll also pop the links for the um, tomato soup and the pan ham soup um, recipes. I'll pop the links in the description for that as well if you are interested. Um, but in general, really, really impressed with this soup maker. Um, I like, I, I do really, really like it. So yeah. Anyway, but that does bring me to the end of this video. I'm going to go and find somewhere that I can store all this soup. I could literally feed the whole street with this. So, um, I'm going to find where I can possibly put this. Half of it, will, I think the majority will be going in the fridge. But, but yeah. So, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, then please give it a thumbs up. Go and hit that subscribe button below. And if you want to be notified for when I do upload, then hit the bell as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Give me that, give me